Welcome to the bonus lesson. Let's put everything we've learned in unit one to the test. Get ready. Because in lessons one, two, three, and four, we covered everything you need to know in unit one. Here's the unit one Sulfa Sofa book. And you can mark down that you've completed all of the lessons. Because as we did in lesson one, we learned about the tone set of SOMI. In lesson two, we did both line SOMI and space SOMIs. In lesson Three, we worked on our rhythm of a quarter note and a quarter rest, ta and rest, and we also did TT. So we've covered all of the rhythm we need to learn in unit one. In lesson four, we added la into our tone set. Here's an example right here. And we talked about this song, Bounce High, Bounce Slow, and how we can decode a song. Now, it is our bonus lesson time. I'm going to show you a song that we'll learn today. And before we go on in this bonus lesson, I just want to encourage you one more time to go back, make sure you've printed all the resources. Make sure you can clap the rhythms that are on your rhythm flashcards Make sure that you can accurately sing the pitches of your melody flashcards, your so, me, and la, both in the notation, that's like this, or the larger cards like this with the patterns. Make sure you can also sing your so, me, and la patterns with these flashcards. And teach So Me and Law to your family and have a fun time going back and forth using the hand signs to sing each pitch. Now, in our bonus lesson, we're putting everything that we've learned to the test. This is why we learn to sight sing, so that when we look at a new song, we can figure it out without needing a piano or any sort of instrument to play the song we can look at the song and be able to sing it by sight because we know our solfa. This song uses only so, me, and la. Now, I worked with the three-line staff in our unit one, but if you notice, this song is written on a complete staff, a treble staff. If you play piano, you probably could put this song on the piano and play it. But the purpose of learning solfa is not to just sit down at an instrument and play it, but it's actually to inner hear the notes, to be able to sing it back and know what this music is without needing an instrument. When you internalized, so me, so me, and so la, so me. When you can sing those pitches accurately, you can look at a song. I think you should be able to see my pointer. And you can identify which of these pitches is so, which pitch is me, and which pitch is la. Now, if you notice this very first interval right here, that looks similar to all of the work that we've done working on our line so me and our space so me this right here is so me if we look way over here we notice this note's a little bit higher so i bet you can guess this is law those are the only three that you'll have in this song now the first step before we go through and write down if it's so or me which is one thing that we will do in this bonus lesson the first step is always to count the rhythm. We've learned ta's and tt's. There are no rests in this piece. But see if you can clap your hands using ta, the syllable ta, for quarter notes and the syllable tt for the eighth notes. One, two, ready, clap. 
ta ta t t ta t t t t t t ta t t t t t t ta 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 t t ta if you want to pause the video right now go ahead and pause and try it on your own and when you're ready you can hit unpause and we'll go on to the next slide here we have actually i'm not going to go to the words yet i'm going to use my um my uh, my pen right here and i'm going to write s m or l underneath each of the notes so that after we know what the rhythm is we can also sing the solfa of this piece see if you can say what they are or sing what they are before i write it okay we're going to go on to the next line sing it before i write it see if you can beat me All right, now I'd like you to pause the video again and I want you to practice singing this on your own. So hit pause. And now I hope you did it. Did you pause and sing it on your own? We're gonna sing it together now and we're gonna use our hand signs. One, two, ready, go. So me, so, so me, so, so me, la, so, so me. So, so me, me, so, so me, so me, so, so me. That is the melody of this song. And when you see a song like this, uh, you might see the whole song with the lyrics. And that's okay. You can still follow the same principles of first clapping the rhythm, second identifying the sol fa, and then once you've done that, you are ready to sing the song. Let's sing the song together. You might already know it. Rain, rain, go away. Come again some other day. Little Johnny wants to play. Rain, rain, go away. You might know another version of this song because it is a folk song. There are many different versions. Folk songs have a beauty of that no matter where you live your region of your land. If you're in the United States, we have American folk songs. Um, if you live in another country, you might want to research what are the folk songs of your country. So what I'm going to have available for purchase in the Sofa Sofa blog is a book of So Me songs, where you can print this book off and you can decode. You can be a musical detective by following those three steps. One, clapping the rhythm, two, identifying the solfa, and then three, adding the lyrics to the song and singing the song with your beautiful voice. You are tuneful, which means you are singing in tune. You're practicing, just like we did in the introduction video, you're practicing that good posture, that uh, head voice, singing voice, and, a, and just working on the skill of being able to sight sing. I'm very proud of you. Thank you for joining me in these newly recorded videos of Unit 1, and I look forward to offering Unit 1 supplementary songs and also the Unit 2 videos for the older beginners. So I hope you join me soon in Unit 2. Bye!